Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to share my Lazy Hunting Horn set 2.0. This build absolutely dominates anomaly monsters of any level with very little to no effort on your behalf. If you would like to see the videos progressively making this build, they should have been scrolling through on the screen. So to make this build you're going to need the Devil's Loot. We're using this Hunting Horn because it has decent, raw, amazing songs for this playstyle with Sonic Barrier on a fast attack as well as attack and defense up. It also brings some extra healing in case the monster attempts to run away from you with health regeneration. The weapon also has some incredible slots. For the armor pieces you're going to need the Archfiend Armor Serato, the Risen Kaiser Mail, the Golden Loon Braces, the Omnio Atiobi, and the Valstrax Greaves Epoch, as well as a talisman that has attack boost level 3 with a 2 or 3 slot, anything more is an upgrade. The decorations should be on screen now, you're welcome to pause it as we'll be moving along. Alright so onto the skills, this set will give you level 5 attack boost for 8 raw attack as well as a 6% increase to your raw attack, level 5 agitator to grant you 20 raw attack and 15% affinity while the monster is angry, critical eye at level 3 for 15% increased affinity, crit boost at level 3 to increase your crit multiplier from 1.25 to 1.4 resulting in much stronger critical hits. Weakness exploit at level 3 to increase your affinity by 50% when hitting good monster weak points. Master's touch at level 3 to give your critical hits an 80% chance to not consume sharpness. Handicraft at level 3 for 30 more units of sharpness. This build goes through sharpness very quickly so it's important to try and keep it in white sharpness. Stun resistance at level 3 to completely remove stun from happening to you this is incredibly essential to the build as you'll constantly be getting hit. Resentment at level 2 to grant you 10 raw attack while you have recoverable health. Resuscitate at level 2 to grant you 10 more raw attack while you have an affliction. Maximum might at level 2 for 20% increased affinity while you are at max stamina. Intrepid heart at level 2. This skill will reduce the damage you take on the next hit by a whopping 80% once you have filled up its meter. Peak performance at level 2 will give you 5 raw attack while you are at full health. Horn Maestro at level 1 as it's mandatory for all hunting horn builds increasing both your performance speed and shockwaves damage output. Evade Extender at level 1 this skill greatly increases your mobility for both chasing the monster down and evading attacks. Coalescence at level 1 to grant you 12 raw attack after overcoming an affliction. Adrenaline Rush at level 1 to grant 10 raw attack after dodging an attack. Embolden at level 1 to make the monster get angry more often as well as granting you 2 levels of evade window. Burst at level 1 to grant you 5 raw attack on all attacks and after 5 consecutive hits instead granting 10 raw attack for a short time. Powder Mantle at level 1 to give you an explosive burst of additional damage after performing several hits which Hunting Horn does very quickly. Okay onto the augments. This build is actually fairly easy to augment for as all you're really looking for are slots. Getting two more level 1 slots on the build will allow you to swap one level of Intrepid Heart for three levels of Kushala's Blessing which will give you passive health regeneration which supports the only remaining weakness of this build. Aside from the two slots I also recommend getting at least one, but ideally three levels of build up boost. This skill gives your attacks that apply status a 20% raw damage increase. As for the weapon, since this weapon already comes with a level 2 rampage decoration and neutral affinity, you can go all out on attack. Well everyone, that has been my Lazy Hunting Horn 2.0 set that I made with the help of commenters on YouTube. Hopefully you all try this build out and let me know how it went for you. As always, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.